brothers and sisters, when we talk about what's going on in this country today, there is one issue which impacts every other issue. And that is that five years ago, by a five to four vote, the United States Supreme Court ruled through Citizens United that millionaires and billionaires would be able to purchase the United States government. What they said, what they said is to the wealthiest people in this country, they said, you guys already own much of the economy. We are now going to give you the opportunity to own the government. And the result of that is the wealthiest people in this country are pouring huge amounts of money into campaigns in order to elect candidates whose sole function in life is to represent the rich and the powerful. You have one family in America, the second wealthiest family, the Koch brothers. This is a smart crowd, okay. You got this family, and what they want to do is they don't want to cut Social Security, they want to eliminate Social Security. They don't want to cut Medicare, they want to eliminate Medicare and Medicaid and the Environmental Protection Agency. They don't want to simply not raise the minimum wage, they want to do away with the concept of the minimum wage so workers can work for three or four bucks an hour. Now this family is going to spend some nine hundred million dollars in this election cycle. In other words, what democracy has become is you have one vote, they have one vote, plus nine hundred million dollars. Now when you have one family spending more money on a campaign than either the Democratic Party or the Republican Party, you are not talking about democracy, you are talking about oligarchy, and we have got to stop that. So here is my second promise to you tonight. And that is that no nominee of mine to the U.S. Supreme Court will get that position unless he or she is loud and clear in telling the American people that they will vote to overturn Citizens United.